Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Your boy Iraq here. First of all, I just want to thank all of you for your support. The last week has just been, honestly, it's been really crazy. The positivity that you guys showed to my, uh, you know, I don't want to say rushed, but hastily reported videos on the gun attachments has been just insane to see and really, really nice. And like we're at 470 subs, like it's insane I wouldn't have thought like just even a week ago we wouldn't thought we would have been here but yeah you guys have been amazing I would love it if we could reach 1000 subs so if you enjoy modern warfare content please do subscribe because I'll be releasing more exciting and cool videos so anyway in this video today I'm going to show you a bunch of clips that I recorded of uh, the recoil of assault rifles and SMGs while in a crouch stance and compare it to the standing stance honestly the results have been Quite surprising, I did not expect anything. Just a fair warning before we get into it, I obviously did not test any rifles like the FR 5.56 or the FAL because they're not full auto. I also left out the SCAR just because the pattern for that, uh, for both crouch and standing was the same. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first gun we're gonna start with is the M4A1. Pretty standard recoil pattern. I just wanted to set the benchmark for this, starting with this gun. Um, standing up is obviously quite bad, not too terrible, but when you're crouching it's much much better and this is what you'd obviously expect. This is the Kilo uh, 141, so standing up recoil is actually pretty good, but as soon as you crouch down as you can see it starts off, starts off fine and then you just completely veer off into the top left corner. Next up you have the Odin, this is just for just for basically purposes for you guys to see what the recoil patterns of the different guns are. Pretty much the same recoil, pretty vertical. So when you crouch down, pretty much the same. Maybe you could say it's slightly worse. I mean, it depends, depends on the weather. Slightly worse maybe, but at least it's consistent. This is the M13. So standing recoil veers off into the right, as you can see. And then as soon as we crouch down, we get, we start off fine and then you can see completely, completely wears off course and then it just goes into the garage door really, really bad. I want you to keep this gun in mind and the Kilo 141. So the AK, again, pretty standard standing, pretty straight, high damage rifle, same as the Odin pretty much. And then you crouch down. It's pretty much the same again, vertical and maybe you could argue slightly worse the first three bullets are pretty much dead on though, so it's, you know, that's kind of what you use. This is the AUG, this is the start of the SMGs. You can see the bullet holes are actually smaller, which is pretty cool. So when you crouch, it's about the same, about the same, you could say. I mean, depends, depends on your tests. P90 again, pretty bad recall. Obviously you're getting 50 bullets in the mag, so it's pretty bad, wears off into the top right corner. When you crouch down, you get slightly better recoil. I mean, quite noticeably better. This is what, again, you would expect. Now, I want you to pay attention to this. This is the MP5. This is where we start to go wrong again. So, decent pattern, recoil pattern when you're standing up. And as soon as you crouch down, you can see it just goes south much worse I would say not much worse but considerably worse definitely something that is noticeable this is the Uzi I was really surprised positively by this honestly the the recoil as you can see it pretty much stays what within three four bricks and then when you crouch down it just gets better like really really accurate gun stays within pretty much two bricks as you can see there really really good recoil really uh, I was bad mouthing that gun and this gun actually both of these but they really really impressed me as you can see standing up Obviously, you're getting 64 bullets in the mag. So standing up. It's pretty bad But check out what happens when you crouch down Boom, it just doesn't go anywhere These are obviously no attachments as well on the guns the last 20 20 bullets obviously 64 mag so the last 24 uh, the last 20 bullets were it kind of kicked up a little bit but this is the gun I'm most impressed by so just check it out standard recoil pattern when you're standing up and then when you crouch down check this out really really impressed by this gun 
This is no attachments again. Check out, check this out. There's two, maybe three bricks. Two. This you could say two. Uh, anyway, so that concludes the little little test that I did. So I want you to keep in mind the M13, the Kilo 141, and the MP5 because for these guns, I think the recoil pattern, well, quite clearly, is broken. So it needs to be fixed. I would honestly recommend you not to use these guns because until they fix it, at least, just don't use them. That's pretty much what I would say. Uh, I myself, I was trying to use the Kilo 141. I like the gun, but after this, I'm just gonna go back to the uh, M4, M4A1. As you can see, this gameplay is with the M4A1, so honestly, that's what I'm gonna use from now on. Um, by the way, um, Driftor and Ace made really, really good videos on recoil patterns and uh, recoil attachments and things like that, really in-depth really really good videos so check those out um but driftor did say uh, he mentioned that most weapons have the same recoil no matter your stance which quite obviously i'm not sure what went wrong there obviously i don't know maybe maybe my testing is something wrong i don't think so but uh i'm probably gonna contact him and see what happened there but anyway i want to talk about the results so I want to talk about what this means for firstly for Activision what this means is that recoil is broken and they need to fix it if they say it's not broken uh, then they need to clarify what the recoil patterns are for different stances so if a crouching has any effect or ac on accuracy and recoil or it depends on the gun as we've quite clearly seen it does right now but this means right now it's really really messy especially for new players who are new to the game and they you know they come with a logic that the pretty much standard logic that when you crouch you get better recoil control and better accuracy so really messy they need to fix that and by the way for anyone who might say that activision intended it to be this way quite clearly they did not as i will provide you a quote from the official activision blog guide uh, called the basics of modern warfare movement i'll leave a link below so you can check it out for yourself obviously so i'm not lying so this is a quote, let me pull it up. So in a crouch, your operator gets an accuracy boost and recoil reduction bonus. This may not, this may be great when using a weapon with a wilder recoil pattern, such as a submachine gun, SMG, or any weapon in general, as being able to accurately place that first shot can help lead to victory in any engagement. So quite honestly, I don't think they, this is a huge game breaking bug. One of many probably. But they really need to get to this because this just pushes more people into using the same guns which is really really not good as it is already so secondly what this means for players is that you have to select a weapon which just works for you with a pattern that works for you and most likely this is going to be the m4 for gameplay this means that a lot of people are going to be using the same guns or the m4a1 which is the standard gun as it is so um, this is just one more reason to use the same guns. I don't like to use same guns. I like to have fun. I like to, you know, the guns are there to be used. So this is what I like to do. But And the gameplay is very campy as it is in this game. So you wouldn't want to use anything that's uh, that jeopardizes your accuracy and your recoil while you're crouched. Because you're going to be spending a lot of your time crouched. But yeah, this is the video. This is it for today. I'm going to make be make a few more videos on this just to clarify but this is going to be the main video i just want to thank you for watching this and yeah subscribe if you haven't already i'm going to be posting more modern warfare content stuff like this and other stuff so thank you so much for watching see you in the next one guys bye